right guys, I have got a smaller, a smallish clearance nail polish haul for you today. Um, I am going to try to actually go through these really quickly and not talk a whole lot about all of them because since they are clearance, I know a lot of these are colors that are going to be hard to find, but I wanted to get this up in case you could possibly find these products still, um, so just to let you know that they're out there. So I'm not going to get too much about into formula or anything like that. This is more just to show you what I got and the colors and that kind of stuff. So we're just going to jump into this. Um, I went to Target and I went to Sally's and I got clearance. Um, at both of those places so I'm going to show you what I got at uh, Target first and then we'll go to Sally's so um, if you guys didn't know the most of you probably do know this already but the Revlon Colorstay line is being replaced by the Revlon Colorstay Gel Envy line which by the way I'm going to be doing a review on the Gel Envy line so keep your eye out for that because that video will be coming um, but they had them on clearance because they're getting rid of them so I picked up a few colors I got them for $1.50 a piece. Um, this one here is called Rainforest. This is, the again, the Revlon. This is Rainforest, and it's just like a dark kind of jungle hunter green with lots of really pretty shimmer in it. Obviously, I think this would be a really good fall polish, not something I'm going to wear right now, but for $1.48, I was not going to pass it up, and the Colorstay polishes are a pretty, you know, good formula and good quality. So I just thought that was a really nice, beautiful, shimmery color. Um, another color I got here is called Red Carpet. This is really just kind of like your standard red cream. Nothing super unique. Um, or anything like that, but I really, I don't know, I was, again, it was $1.48, so why not get it, because I, I, I have 10 red creams, but that's besides the point, point. Uh, and then this one is called Bare Bones, again, same price, this is another cream, this is like a tanny neutral kind of cream, I thought this would be good to use for nail art or maybe bases for glitter. I don't really wear this kind of shade on all my fingers on its own, but I think you could create some really fun looks and you need, I mean, everyone needs some neutrals in your collection, whether you wear them on all your fingers or not. So those are the three Revlons I got. And then I got one Sally Hansen Sugar Shimmer. So these are like their texture polishes, um, but they have like shimmer in it, so it's not just a complete matte color. This was $1.64, and I don't know if you can see. I'm hoping you can see a little. Yeah, you can see it. There is some golden shimmer in it, and the texture on this was actually really fine. It wasn't really rough or anything like that. I've never tried any of the Sally Hansen textures. This is my first one, and... I really wasn't like disappointed with it. I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised with it. That's all the polish I got at Target. So now I'm going to show you um, what I got at Sally's. Everything, yeah, everything I got is finger paints. And um, over the weekend, this uh, I went on the 28th. Yeah, Saturday the 28th on Ju in June was when I went to Sally's. And over the weekend, they did um, the half off their clearance. So. All their red ticket stuff was half off and I love it when they do that and that's like when I really go and I shop their clearance because you can get stuff for so cheap. The first three finger paints that I got are all from the same collection. I cannot remember what the collection is. If I can find it online, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, and I think this came out, I don't remember, a while ago. Um, but they're interesting. I feel like their textures but I'm not sure if they're supposed to be textured. They're very, very dense with glitter. So we all know that, you know, densely glitter polishes are going to be textured anyway and kind of rough. So I don't know if that's the case with these or these are meant to be textured. Like I said, I'll try to look some stuff up online and I'll annotate it on the screen if I can find any information. I paid $1.65 for all the polishes that I got at Sally's because like I said, they were half off. So I got them for $1.65 a piece which is, I'm like, hey, I mean, when they're that cheap, I just start grabbing and throwing stuff in my basket because I have a problem when it comes to clearance nail polish. But anyway, this first one is called Stargazing Lilac, and it's like a silvery gold kind of champagne -y base with lots of purple glitter in it. It's very, very pretty. And then this next one I got is called Metallic Moon Dust. Same kind of base, but this one has green and um, smaller white glitters instead of the purple. 
And then this last one I have is called Gilded Chrome. And this one has a slightly more of a gold base with white glitters in it. Very pretty as well. Because the glitters were so dense, application was a little hard and you really had to dip your brush into the bottle a lot to, um, you know, get product to look even just because it was so thick. But I still really like the colors. I think they will be beautiful accent nails around holidays. Oh my gosh, especially like the green and gold. Do not tell me that that will not be an amazing accent color to go with so many manicures. And I think that for all of them. So they're really gorgeous and they really just, they're the flashy, gaudy, oh my God kind of polish. But, you know, who doesn't like those, right? And then the other uh, four finger paints that I got from Sally's were from the Spring Collection. I think it was called Spring Into Bloom maybe I can't remember exactly but it was out in the springtime I did haul two from that collection before it was a two glitters I had got the uh, pink glitter and then I got like the blue and green kind of glitter so I had already picked those up and they had the rest of it still my Sally's didn't sell them all so I was able to get the rest of the collection because I really liked the whole collection but I didn't want to pay full price for it so now for $1.65 I picked the rest up so I got the third glitter there was three glitters and three creams in the collection um, and then this glitter is just like a light pastel green with holographic glitters in it so it's just like the pink one only with green glitters instead of pink glitters there's also a milani dupe for this one i don't know if one has a better formula or not but i mean i'm this is very glitter dense and i don't have any problems with application with this one i'm very happy with it and then these were the three creams so basically each one came with a coordinating color these um this is a really nice uh lighter pink shade it is definitely cooler blue toned very pretty though i really like it just nice beautiful spring color and oh guys you probably want to know the name right this one is called springtime bloom is what the pink one is called and i didn't tell you what the name was for the green glitter either geez katie see i'm going too fast the green one is called shower with flowers so the green glitter is shower with flowers again the pink one is springtime bloom then this blue one is called Dream I Can Fly, and this is a beautiful blue in my opinion. It's a light sky blue, but it's also kind of like a robin's egg blue. It's kind of like a mix between the two. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. I really, really like this blue color. And then this last one is called Mistful Thinking, and it is just like a lighter green with a little bit of yellow in it, but not very much. Just a really nice pastel green. All right, guys, that was it. I was just going to be a couple nail polishes to tell you what I got on clearance. I know I kind of sped through this one a little bit, but like I said earlier, I really just wanted to give you a quick snapshot of what I got so that if you maybe want to go pick any of them up, you can go run out to Target and Sally's and see if maybe you have any of these types of polishes on clearance. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like haul videos. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. My Instagram and all that is listed down below. And until next time, peace, love, and polish. Bye.